Dakar has always been something that's on my bucket list. Dakar Rally is the biggest event we have in our motorsport. I mean, there's certainly pressure to perform. That's, that's what we're, we're here to do. Last day before the race, um, yeah, packing up everything, making sure everything's sorted. Um, we have a lot of briefings with the team. Everyone knows where everyone's got to be. It's, it's such a massive team and there's so many moving parts. Um, final checks with the car, double check everything's uh, where we want it to be and then we go into all the admin checks and the scrutineering checks. So that's going through to make sure that our licenses are up to spec, uh, we have the right insurances, all those sorts of things. Once that's done, essentially it's like a passport situation where we go and get stamps the whole way along. Once everything's ticked off, we'll bring that yellow card back. We give that to our engineer. Uh, they'll take our car then to the scrutineering check. So checking for compliance, checking for safety, our race suits, helmets, all that sort of stuff's inspected as well. Make sure, one, that it's fair and that everybody's safe. Every corner we'll only see once and you'll never get the chance to do that corner again. So you're trying to adapt and calculate what the best speed to hit, everything unknown. So that is a challenge, but it's also you know super exciting because you're on this adventure and, and then as you go, you're learning to read the terrain. It's impossible to come and do a two week long event like this and have everything go to plan. It just does not happen. It does get daunting when all of a sudden you see the show and you take a deep breath and you're like, whoa, is this really happening? Once you get past that and you let the race come to you, it's more cases we've got a great team around her, from the mechanics to the engineers to the logistics team. Super important to just concentrate on the race. There is a lot of tricks, like uh, down here with tricky roads. Sitting in the staging area, it's quite a tense time. You know what's about to happen, so you have all the anticipation of that. You're trying to make sure that everything's everything's set. I think it's also a really important time to try and stop thinking about all the thousand things that will come afterwards or later on in the stage and just really uh, clear your mind, focus on what position you're going to pick on the start line to get the best start and then just how you're going to take off and approach the first corner and then you really can't think much beyond that, you've just got to take it as it comes. There's a fair bit going on in the car. Prioritising what's important at the time is, is the key focus. Relief that all the lead up's over. Um, and obviously a bit of anticipation, but a huge amount of excitement that we finally get into you know, what we're good at. You're successful at uh, Dakar, it's a team effort. It's, it's every single person in the, of the 160 is gonna bring something to the table. It's incredible to be with such a, a great team. I mean, it feels like a family and it's a lot of fun, which is awesome, but you know, more importantly, they like, have won Dakar multiple times. They have the experience, they know they know what's needed and what's required from the car, but also, you know, there's so many, so many things that go into to Dakar. If you, if you can get over 90 in sport, that's the sport, sport, sport mode, stage yeah. mode. I mean, personally, I think, you know, we're capable of a top 10 result and, and that would be a dream, but I'm not underestimating what the Dakar is. So I think for me, the most important thing is making sure I go in every day. I'm, I'm learning, I'm improving, I'm focusing on what I take to the next day. Yes, I would say there is pressure, but you haven't achieved anything if you, if you don't thrive under pressure. So we can just stay focused on doing a good job and, and hopefully the result will come and, and yeah, who knows what happens from there. I mean, obviously the, the, the baseline is we, we want to finish Dakar. Can she be the first woman to win Dakar? I think she's definitely got a shot. I know she's definitely got the ability and she's definitely got the perseverance to do it. I don't think I've accomplished everything I've set out to. I think I've still got a lot of development to do myself as a driver. Uh, so I would like to yeah, continue on this journey and, and I think that's the great thing about the sport. You just never get sick of it and there's always something more to improve and there's always something more to do. I don't think anyone ever gets to a point where they have done everything that's possible because it's always possible to do more.